morning everybody thanks for tuning in for another video you guys remember this property this is where we did the new lawn installation a little over a month and a half ago came out pretty nice a few little spotty areas to take care of in the spring but all in all not bad not too shabby so I'm gonna talk with the customer to figure out what exactly we're doing on this cleanup um, because the customer would like some of the leaves left in the flower beds to feed the plants during the winter time but the main the main goal here is to do a fall cleanup we know we're getting the leaves off the lawn and I think we're gonna be getting a lot of the leaves out of this big mulch bed here but I'm going to chat with the customer real quick just to figure out which beds are not getting blown out. Alright, so I talked with our customer and really the only bed that we're cleaning out is this big one here. Um, the rest of the bed she wants to leave the leaves in to feed the plant. So really not much going on with this cleanup. Really not much debris to get rid of. But we will give it a mow. I stayed off of this lawn as long as we could i waited to do this cleanup until the very end of the season because when you have new grass the last thing you want to do is be driving a heavy mower over it you know you really want the grass to establish a little bit before you start mowing it um so we stayed off it as long as we possibly could but we're getting to the point now where the snow is going to start flying soon so time to clean it up all right, so we're into the front yard now. Not too many leaves to get rid of here. I am very, very concerned about this lawn being very soft. So we will end up mowing this grass just because it is overdue and it does need a mow, but we're gonna be super, super careful. We're gonna keep the turns to an absolute minimum. This grass is very soft. The lawn is very, very, very soft. Um, when you run into situations like this, you definitely want to keep the, the turns to an absolute minimum. Because when you turn is when it's going to try to rip. Even if you do a three-point turn on soft lawns. Normally what I like to do is, you know, throw the lawn striping out the window. But just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know. So we'll see what happens. We're going to get the heavy out first. I'll start blowing out this bed. And uh, we'll see where we stand and go from there so during the cutting season we also do cut this over here but our customer said just leave the leaves there so I said okay I said well what about the backyard and she goes I don't really care about the backyard either I said well here's here's what I'll do I'll at least cut them up for you she doesn't there's really no grass back here but we're going for the clean appearance you know I don't want to do a, a leaf clean up and then not have it look like I haven't been here. So what we'll do back here is we'll just we'll just cut these with the mower just to tidy it up a little bit. I'm not going to leave uh, heavy leaves on it like that. It's not what we do. guys as I stated in previous videos we do have minimums to come out to your property and do fall cleanups you, you have to have minimums you know you got to know what your numbers are this this particular cleanup is not gonna meet what I feel is our minimum so we're gonna go a little above and beyond to, to earn our pay um, you know I just want to I don't feel comfortable charging my customer what we're charging her just to do what she's asking. So we will go a little above and beyond. It'll make me feel a little better. And like I said before, we're in the business to make money, but we're, we're not going to make it predatory. You know what I mean? Well, that's warming up. I'll just show you around. 
is part of the front yard. A lot of this will suck up with the right stander. Real quick. I'm not even going to try to blow them. They'll probably end up in the street. I tried doing that. Renee's just blowing out under these trees here. Blowing all the leaves right into the yard. And then, uh... Once my blower's warmed up, I'll team up with her and we'll start moving these leaves that way. talked to my customer and said you know I'm sorry I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow to mow it because if I put my zero turn mower being the walker on this grass it's gonna rot it up I'm sinking in just standing on it you know and I'm only 250 pounds if you put an 800 pound machine on this it'll sink right in really this needs to be push mode I don't have a push mower with me today normally we don't push mow anything but in this scenario, we have a new lawn, it's still fresh and soft. It has to be push mode. So what we'll do before we leave is, we'll trim it all out with the weed whacker, edge it all in, so when I show up tomorrow, all I have to do is just run over with the push mower real quick and then we'll be out of here. But uh, yeah, I don't feel comfortable putting a machine on this lawn and I'm not gonna rut it all up. It's got a nice base going, I don't wanna ruin it. so we worked our way around the yard here I started blowing out the nooks and crannies behind the shed now we weren't obligated to do back here but we're gonna do it anyway just make me feel better about the price that we're charging to do this um, I didn't go too crazy just blow out the nooks and crannies I'm gonna run the mower over this and just aim to discharge at the woods so I'll just go up and down it in rows and just Use the mower as a leaf blower and just fire these right into the woods. this is all done it took me an additional 15 minutes to take the lawnmower and use it as a leaf blower just to blow all the leaves to the wood line came out nice so we 
Renee is just vacuuming up this part of the lawn. What she's done, she'll move over here and start sucking this up. All the leaves that you see in this bed here are gonna stay, they're gonna feed the plants during the off season. And all the leaves that are in this bed are gonna stay too. So we're just gonna mow and vacuum up everything in this area. So Renee sucked everything up with the walker, that all the heavy. There's still a little bit of debris left in the lawn. I'm gonna take a stand up, drop the deck height down to about three inches, and uh, run over it with the bagger and really get this thing clean. All right, this is nice and clean now. It's the way I, it's the way we like it. I'm gonna head, head over here now. I'm gonna suck this up with the walker first, just because I don't want to empty the grass catcher on the stand up too many times. I'll suck the grass up and most of the leaves with the, with the walker first, the panther, and then I'll go over it and fine tune it with the, with the stander to give it that nice clean finish. All right, I went over this real quick with the panther. I'm gonna wait for Renee to edge this all in before I make my final pass with the, uh, the stander. All right, so Renee's just finishing up with the edging. I'm gonna breeze over this with the stander real quick and make this thing look cherry. All right, so we're done. All edged up, nice, nice. Guys, you have no idea how much it drives my OCD crazy to leave leaves behind, but that's what we were asked to do. The backyard here, well the side yard I should say, we're gonna have to come back and mow it. This is this is sending my OCD into overdrive as well. But I just can't put a machine on it. It'll sink in and make a mess. So uh. I'm hoping that when we come back tomorrow morning that the frost will actually the frost on the lawn will actually be to our advantage. So I could just drive over it quick just to cut it down to winter height. But I have a feeling we're gonna end up push mowing this just because it's so soft and we don't want to damage anything. All right guys, we're on our way to our next property to bang out the next cleanup. We'll see you there. See you there guys. And we're back to this property. You guys remember this one? We were here a couple weeks ago. You'd never know it. <laughs> there's still leaves to drop in some of these trees. Look, there's some there. This is another high maintenance property, I call it. And you're surrounded by trees, a lot of leaf accumulation. It's one of those properties that you need to do multiple cleanups on to get it clean. I want to make myself clear on something. Or make you clear on something. Um, I'm not going to commandeer the pink panther. You told me to get out the pink panther. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm not just going to drive around aimlessly. You right. instructed me to do that. So I'm going to hit you with the plan this time. Okay. Which we've already talked about it, but you know most of it. I want you to stay in the front yard with the pink panther. Yep. Drive around and suck up this stuff. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go over to the corners, the nooks and crannies, once you get a lot of this out, 
and start blowing them back into the lawn. Okay. We're going to go one section at a time. We're going to stay in the front yard until that's clean. And then we'll go to the side yard and do that. And then the backyard and you get the point. You All get right. the gist. So. Do you concur, madam? Yes. Now, like I always do, I keep my eyes and ears open. Um, I've never mowed this property, so I will be on the lookout. But is, are there any obstacles or hazards, like big rocks around, that I might not be able to see with leaves before I take that machine on here? Because I don't want to be breaking no. anything today. Not really. There's a couple things, a couple exposed tree roots in the backyard to worry about. Okay. Um, but the plan is. I'm just gonna have you drive around with the panther and suck up the heavy and then, excuse me, once we're done, I'll go over it with the stander and, and give it the cha-ching. Oh, understandable. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything yeah. around. Don't worry about striping the lawn, nothing like that. Just nope. just suck up the leaves and I'll just stay with you and work together like we always do. All right. And uh, get this one done. All right, I think panther needs gas. The pink panther always needs gas. Oh, so he's always thirsty. The pink panther always needs gas because you're Mr. Carburetor. Yeah. You well, let me ask. Let me ask fuel, you something. But you know what? We go hand in hand. More money in <coughs> fuel, less money on dealership. All right. Here we go. How about thanks, honey, for building me a one of a kind lawnmower that minute. nobody else has. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We built it together. Yeah, but who built your engine? Don't be mistaken. Who built your engine? Both of us. Both of us. Don't be mistaken. Whose idea was it to convert it from EFI to carburetor? Both of us. Because you oh. know me. I'm the finance girl, and I don't like spending money at the dealership unless I'm buying myself so something So go fill new. it up with gas, madam. Why are you giving me that look? I have a bone to pick with you. Because <laughs> I get blamed for everything. Yeah. You left the hopper full from the last job site. I'm guilty. One thing you got to remember, too. This is a 26 horsepower. So even though our 23 wasn't very good on gas, you have more displacement here in this engine. It's not going to be more efficient. You understand? It's a bigger it's a bigger engine. Okay. Creating more horsepower, burning more fuel. Okay. Know what I'm saying? I can. Um, 
in situations like this that maybe leaves left behind. Now you do your best to get every single leaf you can, but it also reflects on what the customer is paying you. This, this particular job is a basic cleanup that we're doing. So yes, we are gonna try to get it as clean as we can, but when you run into situations like that, there's just nothing you can do. You know, if I was to get this property absolutely spotless where there wasn't a single leaf on it, it'd be triple the price what I'm charging. So guys, we're in the backyard. Renee's just going along, sucking up all the heavy. I've blown this area out three or four times. And there's this leaves trapped everywhere. Leaf trap is everywhere. Doing the best we can. I don't like to leave leaves behind ever. And our intentions are always to get every leaf out, no matter what the customer's paying. But I can't sit here and spend, you know, an hour blowing out just one section. I, I can't do it. So we're gonna do the best we can. But, you know, when you have situations like this, you know, you gotta make sure you're charging the right amount of money if the customer's willing to pay. But if it's just a basic cleanup, sometimes there's going to be some leaves left behind. So Renee's going to suck up this section here. I'm going to start working in between these arborvitae trees here and blowing all the stuff out here. side yard now. Gonna start working the heavy down towards the street. Gotta work kind of fast now. I think we got a rainstorm coming in. It started raining on me earlier. I'm hoping that it, the weather holds out, but we're gonna start working these leaves down towards the street corner. We're starting to lose sunlight fast. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna finish this today. We're gonna have to come back tomorrow to finish it. We got about a little over an hour left of sunlight and at least a couple hours, two and a half, three hours worth of work still. Hey, we're not going to finish today. Okay, well I'm either clogged or I broke a chair pin because I, I ran something over in that big pile and couldn't see anything. Well, if you broke a chair pin, you'd hear the blaze clanging away. Oh, well they're not clanging away, but... I, I'm, probably assuming, clogged. I'm assuming I'm clogged, but I don't know. Alright, just bring it over here, we'll dump it. I knew it was iffy if we were going to finish this today, prior to even starting. Um, but, you know, we put our best foot forward. This is just a very time-consuming cleanup. A lot of leaf catches everywhere. When I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. Overgrown landscaping. You, you name it. It's just trapping leaves everywhere. You blow one area out, they cling to another area, you know? We will get it, we will get it done, but it's not gonna be today. So my goal is, let's just suck up this pile that we got here, get the lawn semi-clean. I'm not gonna give it the final mow on the stander until tomorrow, once we're done. Renee's sucking up the pile of leaves that I blew over there with the with the walker. We got a ton of leaves over there in that massive mulch bed. A lot of leaves. A lot of leaves. So, we're gonna blow that area out tomorrow. She's just sucking up the lawn now. There's some landscapers out there that are working in the dark, and that's cool. You know, but for me, tomorrow's another day. I, I've worked out in dark. Believe me, it's not fun. You know, we'll just, we'll just come here tomorrow and and finish up yeah we're gonna be a little bit behind but you know from the week we've had so far we're gonna be behind no matter what so you know what's another day all right guys brandon likes to challenge me on everything that i tell him so even though i don't know how to fix these machines i know when something's wrong with them so i either clog the machine or broke a shear pin i'm not picking anything up Let's see what we got going on. Checked it. Did you go hear that noise? You wouldn't hear that noise. Well, that's good. That's what 
clogged it. I told you I hit something over there. <laughs> Did I tell you this? You don't listen. I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. Lucky that didn't get trapped in the blower itself and ruin it. That's why I can't be sucking up that pile over there with that. That's okay. why I told you. All right, guys, this is how we're going to leave it for tonight. Hopefully tomorrow the weather's on our side. Renee said that there is rain in the forecast. So hopefully we'll be able to come back tomorrow and finish this up. But that's going to wrap it up for this property for today. Oh, well, that's going to wrap it up for us for today. Um, we do have bad weather on the agenda for tomorrow. Renee just inform, informed me again. Um, not a lot quite. of rain coming in starting at about six o'clock tonight yeah and all through tomorrow supposedly that's what the weather says yeah. but if we wake up tomorrow and it's not raining we're gonna head back to this property absolutely um, if it is raining tomorrow then we will have to come back to this property on Thursday go home and pick up the kids after we finish that and head back to another property in this area yeah there's snow on the radar, guys, coming in. Um, what they say this weekend? Renee? Some flurries, maybe. It's just some flurries. It's not yeah, going to be. Like, not it's too, not going to be a plowable storm. I'm not too worried about it. I just my biggest fear is that if the leaves start freezing to the ground, that's the that's the biggest thing. You know, I'm hoping that this little mini snow squall that we get is nothing serious and nothing major. And we're able to just continue with the leaf cleanups but we're a little behind schedule right now you know it is what it is but i'm just hoping that uh we'll be able to get all these done before the snow flies this is why things can't always go according to plans we would have been right on schedule other than our little mishaps yesterday but somehow it always gets done all the work always gets done so yep. We'll get it done. We always do. We're getting there. We have to finish that one. Um, we have one more big yard, but in the grand scheme of things, a, it's a smaller job because we're not going to be taking any of the leaves with us. We're just mulching them up. Um, and then the only other thing we have left after that is to head back to Al's house to do his gutters and stuff. So... I'm hoping um, if we pull a long day Thursday and Friday, we'll hopefully be done with our set schedule on Friday if all goes well. That's what we're hoping for. So Fingers crossed. <laughs> yep. And then we have a few odds and ends things to do, but yep. at least the bulk of this will be over with in case the snow does fly. Yep. So that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Do you have anything else you want to say, Brandon? Thanks for tuning in. Yes, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, thank you for all the new subscribers that have recently come to the channel. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers, so yeah. that's awesome. You know, we'll have to throw like a little celebra celebration party when we hit 2,000. Yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Yeah. So that we're getting close to the 2,000, and this this thousand is has gone by a lot faster than the first thousand. So yeah, it took us a little over a year to get the first thousand. And it was like right after we got our first thousand, the subscribers just started coming in. Maybe it was the YouTube algorithm. I don't know. Not quite sure. But again, thank you to all the subscribers. Thank you for your comments, guys. You guys are leaving some great comments in the videos. Keep them coming. And we'll see you on the next video. Yeah, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a good night, guys. Have a good one. Bye.